Hey, how's it going? I'm Joe Walsh. Welcome to Witches Rock Surf Camp. Sitting here with my good friend, Nikki Hearn. Nikki. Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome. <laughs> good to be back, man. I feel like we're doing our podcast again. Uh, we just got a new studio set up. Welcome. This is the first uh, thing we've shot in here. And really, all we're doing is we're giving you an update. Today's May 15th. The beaches are going to open up in two days, Nikki. In two days. We've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, but it's 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. That's a limitation. And there's a ton of, like... People, a lot of buzz going around talking about Tamarindo maybe not actually being able to surf here in town because it's a national park, technically, Las Baulas. What have you heard about that? Uh, basically, what I've heard is that the beach can be open up, but the actual the ocean will not be because it's actually part of the Las Baulas National Park. So you can go to the beach, but you can't go in the ocean. So I don't know. It's one of those things where I don't quite know if that's the truth or not. You know, I think it's a little bit confusing for everyone. My strategy is I'm just going to go surf. And if some cop's going to be like, hey, you can't surf here. You have to go down there. Um, I just don't see it happening. I actually think technically it's legal to surf. It's illegal to be on the beach, but it's no one said it was illegal to surf. So if you're like at a boat and you're like, hey, you maybe you're fishing. You're like, hey, there's a wave. I want to go surfing there. I think you can do that. I don't want to get a warning from the Coast Guard, but I'm pretty sure you could do that. No, it's, it's one of those things. There's a lot of information and misinformation, a lot of stuff going around on the internet and obviously various like social media pages, but you know, and you hear this and you hear that. So I think I'm with you. I'm just going to like go to the beach on Monday morning with the family and, and just chance for luck. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well, you know what? People have been surfing. It's not like they haven't been. I heard two days ago there were 40 people in the water in the morning at Avianas and maybe 20 people in Langosta. And I also heard the cops showed up at both spots. Mm -hmm. People went running. Uh, I don't know if people got any tickets. There's definitely been news about uh, surfers getting uh, infractions repeatedly and actually having to go to jail. So it's a serious thing. I think you get one warning and then after that, uh, there could be real trouble. So I'm just going to go surf and see what happens. Yeah, man. Like, as we always do, get out and surf. <laughs> exactly. Okay, what else before we go? Which is Rock Surf Camp updates. What's been going on at the surf camp, Nikki? Well, man, we've been doing a lot of work in the surf shop. We've been uh, going through all the inventory. We've personally counted every single item ourselves. We did. And uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, getting the online store up and running soon. Yeah, you know what? It's going to be at witchesrocksurfcamp.com. Yeah, we got these killer fins. Uh, we've got some really great longboard fins that we've just made that are beautiful sitting in the display case in the shop. Um, we're putting our hats on there. We've got some custom Robert August uh, surfboards you can order. Uh, all kinds of things, which is rocksurfcamp.com. Check it out. Uh, also, the surf camp, the hotel is open. So if you want to come, if you're in the country, uh, you want to come to the beach, give us a call at uh, 2653-1262 or just email us at witchesrocksurfcamp at gmail.com. Uh, Eat at Joe's is opening up another couple of days. We've been remodeling that for, geez, a little bit, I don't know. Two, three weeks? Yeah, it's, weeks? it's still the same space, but it, we've definitely done a lot clean of Clean it up. Yeah, clean it up. You know, like I said, the stickers have gone, um, but, you know, that gives everyone a chance to come back and tag again. You know, it's a new world. So by taking those stickers off and sanding all the wood, I feel like we're kind of starting over again. And honestly, 20 years of a restaurant being open each and every day. Didn't really ever get a chance to do some of the things that we're doing now. So look for some really nice improvements there. The Caro's open, surf shop's open, hotel's open, brewery's open. Yep, we still got a brewery beer, man. Yeah, we're just we're almost there with the lessons and surf tours and, uh, and things like that uh, and rentals, obviously, when the beach gets opened up. So that starts Monday, May 18th, Monday through Friday from 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. You can surf in this beautiful country of Costa Rica. And then hopefully in another couple of weeks, we'll have another update where we're saying the beaches are open 100%. Maybe even sooner. I don't know. But uh, fingers crossed. All the way. All right. Well, hey, thank you very much for joining us. I'm Joe Walsh. I'm Nikki Haran. Pura Vida.